Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project in the pages of Make Magazine. Every now and then I'll get an email from someone asking me where they can get Make Magazine. Well, I've put a link in the description of this video which will take you right to the subscription page where right now you get a special deal. You get the normal four issues plus one bonus issue and you get the digital edition and the print edition for the same low price. So get hooked up with a subscription to Make Magazine today and get started building some very cool projects over the weekend. Well, as you can tell, I'm relaxing out here in the garage. You might be wondering why I'm sitting on the floor of the garage relaxing. Well, it's because I'm getting ready to build a chair out of a single piece of plywood. It's called the Rockback Chair, and you can find it in Make, Volume 19. So let's build it. You're going to need the templates to build the rockback chair, and there's a link on this video where you can download them and print them out. The main pieces will come from one 4x8 sheet of half-inch plywood. So using the templates as a guide, we'll make our measurements and then cut out our main pieces of the chair. You'll also need a jigsaw or a similar tool to make those curved cuts. Now here's a tip. To make those small, sharp curves, use a standard 15-ounce can. I chose pumpkin filling. After we finish cutting out one side of the chair, then we need to mark and cut out the cutouts. Our first side piece is cut out and finished, and it's time to sand it. Now you want to make sure you do a really good job of sanding for this first piece. The reason being, we're going to use that as a template to cut out our second piece. So lay it down on the other side of our plywood, and make sure you make some good marks, and then cut out piece number two. And once that's cut out and sanded, We'll place both pieces together, clamp them, and drill three holes for the cross braces. We're also going to countersink those holes so the screws are flush with our wood. The cross pieces are constructed out of 2x4s, so we'll cut three pieces of those. Since we need to drill holes in the side of our 2x4 cross braces, to find the center, draw lines from each corner. And where they meet will be centered. Then we need to cut a small 1x2 piece. That'll act as a rest for the back panel. Drill three holes and use wood screws to attach it to our cross brace. Time to refer to the main template drawing now as we are going to assemble the chair. We'll be using some lag bolts and washers to do that. The easiest way to do this is to run the bolts through our side pieces and with a little bit sticking out and that'll match the hole on our 2x4 cross braces. Then I used a socket wrench and tightened everything up snug. We've added the top cross brace, the middle cross brace, and the front cross brace. If our seat back was cut out right, it'll be a snug fit as it slides down and meets our middle cross brace, and it will set right in front of the 1x2 piece we cut out and attached earlier. Then the seat bottom is put in place, and again, that should be a nice snug fit. The seat back will be attached to the top cross brace using some wood screws. Again, countersunk so the screws run flush. The last step for comfort are armrests made out of 1x4 wood. We'll pre-drill the side pieces and then also add screws to the armrests, and after everything matches up, attach each armrest. Well, my rock back chair is finished. Now I've covered it with three coats of polyurethane spray, lightly sanding in between each coat, and for the cushion, I found a 22 by 40 cushion at my local home improvement store, and you can find these readily available with that perfect size to fit the rock back chair. Now I opted for the standard version of the rock back chair to actually make it rock back, you would not make this large cut out here in the very beginning, and then you would make an angled cut at the back, which would allow the chair to rock back. Well, I don't trust myself doing that, <laughs> so I opted for the standard stable chair. And I tell you what, it's pretty comfy. So that's how to make a very cool chair out of a single sheet of plywood, the rock back chair. We'll see you next time with another weekend project.